Hi everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we are going to be proving Archimedes' principle. In my previous video, I told you that the magnitude of the upthrust, we're going to call that U, is equal to the magnitude of the weight of the fluid that has been displaced by the object. Let's see if we can find a mathematical proof of Archimedes' principle. The uh, upthrust is actually caused by differences in pressure at the opposite ends of the object. So the pressure here at a height h, let's call that pressure P1. So the pressure here will be P1, which will be acting along here, like so, will be different compared to the pressure which is acting along the bottom of the surface. We're going to call that pressure P2. Using the formula uh, for pressure at a depth h, we can find an expression for the differences in pressure and hence the difference of the amount of force between P1 and P2. Well, let's uh, get this done so first of all the pressure at position one let's call that p1 will be equal to rho which is the density times the depth which is h times g at position two which is just over here the uh, pressure at the bottom of the object will be equal to the density rho now the depth is no longer h it is h plus x like so and um, this expression will then be multiplied by g so once again in general the formula for the pressure at a depth is equal to rho h g the um, top of the the top surface of the object will experience rho hg whereas the bottom surface will experience rho h plus x because now it's deeper times g these differences in pressure are also going to create different amounts of force acting on the top of the object and the bottom of the object because uh, pressure is equal to force uh, over area, this means that the force will be equal to the pressure multiplied by the area. So in this case, we can say that the force at the top, let's call that F1, will be equal to rho times h times g times the cross-sectional area A. And the force at the bottom, let's call that F2, will be equal to rho times h plus x, which is the depth, times g times A. The resultant upthrust will actually be the resultant of those two forces due to the uh, different pressures. So let's just find that. Let's say that F2 is positive. So we need to subtract them because they are in opposite directions. Essentially, we have um, F1 acting downwards and we have F2, which will be acting upwards along here. So actually we have two different forces which are acting in opposite directions. So uh, we have the resultant one uh, from all the pressure acting on the top surface and this will be acting down and we're going to just call that F1 and additionally we have a force which is acting upwards, we're going to call that F2 like so. The difference between them will actually give us the resultant upthrust, which will be acting upwards, depending on the density of the object as well. So uh, let's see whether we can calculate that. All we need to do really is to subtract them. So I'm just going to take F2 to be positive because it's pointing upwards. And we are going to get F2 minus F1 which will be equal to rho h plus x times g times a minus f1 which is rho h g a 
like so and what I'm going to do is um, essentially uh, go through the bracket so that's going to give me row h g a plus row uh, x g a minus row h g a well look at that the first and the last term in this equation are just going to cancel out so we can just get rid of those terms and what we get is that the difference in or the resultant force due to the pressure is equal to rho x g a another way of writing this is equal to a x rho times g well hang on a minute this is exactly the same expression that we said in the beginning in our last video about Archimedes uh, principle and the upthrust and the result of those two forces is in fact the upthrust so f2 minus f1 this is actually the upthrust and this is equal to ax rho times g okay folks so hopefully this proof of Archimedes principle makes sense if there are any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and thank you very much for watching